Today we will talk about healthy lifestyle. Discuss how a healthy lifestyle, including diet, exercise, and mental well-being, can contribute to extending lifespan and improving quality of life. 1. Bioprinting Bioprinting is a groundbreaking technology that integrates biology with digital fabrication methods. Offering novel solutions within the medical and tissue engineering sectors. Using 3D printing principles, bioprinting arranges cells, biomaterials, and molecules in predefined spatial configurations to fabricate bioengineered structures mimicking natural tissues. The process involves several steps. 1. Design Initially, a digital model of the tissue or organ is developed using medical imaging data like MRI or CT scans. 2. Bioink selection Bioinks, which are materials that can be printed and often comprise a mixture of cells and biocompatible substances, are chosen based on tissue requirements. 3. Printing Using specialized 3D printers, the bioinks are deposited layer by layer to construct the desired 3D structure. 3. Precision is vital to ensure the proper arrangement of various cell types. 4. Maturation After printing, the construct often requires a maturation period in a controlled environment to allow cells to grow, multiply, and form functional tissues. The potential applications of bioprinting are vast. 1. Tissue regeneration Damaged or diseased tissues can be replaced using bioprinted grafts, from simple structures like skin to more complex ones like cartilage. 2. Personalized approach. The personalized approach, often referred to as precision or personalized medicine, is an innovative medical model that customizes healthcare, tailoring treatments, practices, and interventions to the individual patient. This paradigm shift emphasizes the utilization of individual genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors to guide decisions related to the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of disease. Key facets of the personalized approach include Genomic information With the advancements in genome sequencing, it's now feasible to decode an individual's entire genetic makeup. By understanding specific genetic mutations or predispositions, clinicians can anticipate diseases and even tailor treatments to the genetic profile of the patient. Targeted therapies, in conditions like cancer, a personalized approach has transformed treatment protocols. For instance, certain breast cancers with HER2 mutations are treated with drugs explicitly targeting this mutation, ensuring higher efficacy and fewer side effects. Pharmacogenomics, this is the study of how genes influence an individual's response to drugs. By understanding a person's genetic makeup, doctors can prescribe medications in dosages that will be most effective and least harmful. 3. Organ transplants Organ transplantation is a medical procedure in which an organ or tissue that is no longer functioning is replaced with a healthy one from a donor. It represents one of the most remarkable achievements in the history of medicine, offering a second chance at life to patients with end-stage organ failure. Key aspects of organ transplantation include Types of transplants The most commonly transplanted organs are the kidney, liver, heart, lungs, pancreas, and intestines. Additionally, tissues like corneas, skin, heart valves, and bone marrow can also be transplanted. Donor Sources 1. Deceased donors Organs are taken from individuals who have recently died and had previously consented to organ donation. 2. Living Donors Some organs, like kidneys or a part of the liver, can be donated by living individuals without causing significant long-term health issues for the donor. Matching and compatibility, successful transplantation requires careful matching of the donor and recipient to minimize the risk of organ rejection. Factors considered include blood type, body size, and specific tissue markers. Immunosuppression, recipients usually require lifelong immunosuppressive drugs to prevent their immune system from attacking the transplanted organ, a phenomenon called rejection. While these drugs increase the success rate of transplantation, they also come with side effects and vulnerability to infections. 4. Vascularization Vascularization refers to the formation of networks of blood vessels in tissues and organs. It's a critical process for ensuring that all cells within a tissue receive adequate oxygen and nutrients, and it also plays a role in waste removal. Proper vascularization is essential for tissue survival, function, and repair. Key facets of vascularization include Importance in physiology, blood vessels play a crucial role in delivering oxygen and nutrients to cells and removing waste products. Without adequate vascularization, tissues can become hypoxic, lacking oxygen, which can lead to cell death and tissue dysfunction. Angiogenesis and vasculogenesis. 1. Angiogenesis, the formation of new blood vessels from pre-existing ones. 1. 
This process is active during wound healing, inflammation, and cancer growth. 2. Vasculogenesis, the de novo formation of blood vessels, typically occurring during embryonic development. Tissue engineering and regeneration. For tissues grown in labs or bioengineered organs, vascularization is a significant challenge. Without proper vascular networks, the inner cells of larger tissue constructs might die due to lack of nutrients and oxygen. 5. Ethical considerations. In the realm of medical advancements and technological innovations, ethical considerations play a paramount role in guiding research, application, and policy decisions. They ensure that the moral implications of new interventions are thoroughly examined, and the dignity, rights, and well-being of individuals are upheld. Key ethical considerations include Informed consent, ensuring that individuals are fully informed about the risks, benefits, and implications of a medical procedure or research participation is essential. They must provide their consent voluntarily, without coercion. Privacy and confidentiality, with advancements in data collection and genetic testing, safeguarding an individual's personal and genetic information becomes vital. Unauthorized access or misuse can lead to discrimination or other negative consequences. Equity and access, as new treatments or technologies emerge, it's crucial to consider who gets access. Disparities in access based on economic status, geography, or other factors can exacerbate health inequalities. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you go please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.